the longer you're in there, you sort of like find yourself tripping over things that you wouldn't normally trip over. Sometimes I shout up to the people in the other cells, talk to them. But uh, a lot of lads try and hide it in there because, you know, other lads are listening in as well. <laughs> You've got to remember there's like 30 doors on a landing, you know, so you kind of put a front on things as well. There were lads in solitary that um, were taken out because a lot of lads crack up. I didn't want to accept being in that cell. Then after that, it was like, right, I'm going to have to find things to do. And then you start thinking about the things you've lost. Then you start thinking about how you're going to rectify all this stuff when you get out. And it's just a natural thought process. So to sit and dwell, and while I'm in that state of mind, it's like asking a depressed person to go work for a week and uh, not have an effect on them. It's, it's going to have an effect. And it was that the biggest mental barrier you have to overcome is to try and motivate yourself in that state. There's not a lot to do in a cell, five by five cell, with nothing but a bed, your blankets. So it's more physical workout routine, I found. Helped me a lot while I was in there. A lot of sit ups, a lot of press ups. I used to roll my mattress up and try and squat with that for a bit of weight. Just trying to keep focused, trying to keep active, trying to burn energy so I could go back to sleep. Just trying to keep myself in a routine, really. I definitely learned patience in solitary. I'd say it's made me a lot more socially paranoid. It's getting used to being in them social situations that you've been isolated from. The best way to describe it, in fact, is babies. They come out, you put them in a little bath. They grow up a bit, you put them in a bigger bath. When they first go into that bigger bath, they don't like it. They cry. Because they used to be in a little bath. So it's like a big scary world, isn't it? That's what it is. A big scary world. You find a lot more about yourself than what you would do in general society. I didn't think I had anything to lose. But actually I had a lot to lose and me epiphany really was right I need to sort my act out when I get out of here and you know otherwise I'm gonna maybe lose what I have got forever. <laughs>